standard 10 mathematics part 2 chapter trigonometry in video number 12 in understanding how to solve practice set problems to continue with practice set problems in trigonometry The problem written on the board says that prove that the first one sin square theta on cos theta plus cos theta you have to show is equal to sec theta. The other one on the board says prove that cos square theta into one plus tan square theta show is equal to the right hand side that is one. So let's begin with the first one. Now we know the procedure, children. Whenever we have to prove that left hand side is equal to the right hand side, definitely you start with either your left hand side or your right hand side. Solve it according to your mathematical logical steps, and then reach to a step finally where your answer tallies with the other side. For example, let's begin with the first one. Prove that sine square theta. Upon cos theta plus cos theta is equal to sec theta. So over here, sine square theta upon cos theta plus cos theta is your left hand side. Towards your right hand side, you have only sec theta. So definitely, children. Let's start with the left hand side. Let's write it down and solve it mathematically to reach to a step where you can show the final answer is equal to your right hand side. Then definitely we can say it is proved that left hand side is equal to your right hand side. So let's begin. Left hand side. Let's write down the expression given on the left hand side. Sine square theta. Upon cos theta plus cos theta. Now, children, we know we have a fraction added to a term which is only in the numerator. In case of mathematical numbers, what do we do in this case? Definitely the LCM. When you have only cos theta in the numerator, what is expected to be written in the denominator? It is one. So the LCM between cos theta and one, the two denominators of both the terms in this given expression is cos theta. So let's equalize the denominators equal to the LCM. If we see the first term, the denominator is equal to the LCM. So let's write the numerator as it is. Sine square theta. As you have the operation of addition, let's put the plus sign. Here over here, the denominator is one. To equalize to the denominator, that is the LCM over there, we will have to multiply the denominator by cos theta. Now we know whatever we perform any mathematical operation in the denominator should also be done in the numerator for that particular term. So multiply the numerator also by cos theta. Cos theta into cos theta gives us. Cos square theta. Now, children, what is sine square theta plus cos square theta? Let's rack our brains. Is it a trigonometrical identity? Definitely, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. So let's substitute. In the numerator, we get one upon the denominator is cos theta. Let's write the reason for getting one. To be replaced by sine square theta plus cos square theta, the reason is that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. That is why we were able to replace sine square theta plus cos square theta that is equal to one. Now we are left with one upon cos theta. What is one upon cos theta? Definitely, it is the multiplicative inverse of sec theta. So one upon cos theta can be written as Sec theta. Again, the reason is as one upon cos theta is equal to sec theta, and 
Finally, you are reached with to a step where the answer towards your left hand side after solving is equal to sec theta, which is equal to your right hand side. So here children, we can say that, therefore, therefore, left hand side is equal to your right hand side, thus, sin square theta upon cos theta plus cos theta is equal to sec theta. Into bracket you can say, thus it is proved. So this is the way we were able to solve the first one where you have to prove the left hand side is equal to your right hand side. Now you have one more problem children on the board where you have to prove that cos square theta into bracket 1 plus tan square theta is equal to 1. So let's begin with it. Over here, the second problem where you have to prove the left hand side is equal to your right hand side. Once again I repeat, cos square theta into 1 plus tan square theta is your left hand side. Towards your right hand side, you have only the number 1. So let's begin with the left hand side. I will jot down the left hand side. That is cos square theta into bracket 1 plus tan square theta. Now children, we know again another trigonometric identity which we can use to replace 1 plus tan square theta. And what is it? We know that 1 plus tan square theta is equal to 6 square theta. So let's replace it in the second mathematical step. Cos square theta as it is into bracket 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. So this is equal to. Now what is sec square theta? Again let's write down the reason. Sec square theta is sec theta is the inverse of cos that is 1 upon cos. So sec square theta will be 1 upon cos square theta. So let's substitute cos square theta as it is. Sec square theta will be written as 1 upon cos square theta. Can be reduced children because bracket means the operation of multiplication. Definitely cos square theta and cos square theta gets cancelled. Finally you are left with only 1. So have we reached to a step where the last expression that we get is equal to the right hand side? Yes, on the right hand side also you have 1. And we started with the left hand side. When we reach to a step, getting an answer 1, which is equal to your right hand side. So definitely we can say therefore, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Thus, cos square theta into 1 plus 10 square theta is equal to 1 into bracket. The reason is we have proved it. So children, it is very easy for such problems for us to solve provided we know our basic rules, identities to be substituted to show that left hand side is equal to a right hand side. So in this way, we were able to prove the left hand side is equal to the right hand side by using what? Mm -hmm. By using only trigonometric identities and also recalling the multiplicative inverses of the basic functions sine and so children, let's recall the trigonometric identities. The first one, sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. The second, 1 plus tan square theta is equal to sec square theta. And the third, 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosec square theta.